Hey fellas, Spicy here, and today I'll show you the zoom in and zoom out transition on After Effects. So you want to get your two pictures or clips and drag them into a timeline. If it doesn't fit, like this picture here, you want to click S on your keyboard, and then just scale it to wherever it fits. So these are both okay now. Uh, so then, next thing you want to do, you want to go into Layer, New, then make a new adjustment layer. Or just do Control O and Y. And this is where you're going to put all your effects. So just cap it off at the end of that. And then split it where your clips split. So you basically have one layer for each clip. Then go to your effects and presets and type in motion tile. This is what gives it the mirrored edges effect. So you want to change output width and height to anything between 300 and 500. So I'll just do 350 for each. And then Make sure you check mirror edges. So just put that on both of your adjustment layers. Next thing, you want to go back into effects and presets and type in transform. Drag this onto your first adjustment layer and then click the little clock next to scale height. This is in and out. So you click U on your keyboard once you've done that. And it'll bring up this keyframe underneath your adjustment layer. Drag this to the last frame on your first clip and change the value to 130 for a zoom in. If I change it to anything between 120 and I'd say 150. And then go like, just drag it back a bit, maybe like 10, 10 frames. Uh, and then change it to 100. And then do the same thing for your other clip. So you drag it on, click the little stopwatch, hit U, and it will come up. And then go back about 10 frames. And then you want to match it again. So this one ended on 130. So you want the first keyframe to be 70. And then go about 10 in and change it back to 100. And now what we need to do is do our graphs. So you want to highlight these two keyframes on the first adjustment layer and go into a graph editor. Uh, now click this little button down here and it will make it so it's in a better view. So first off, just click anywhere on the line and it will highlight it and then click this button down here, the auto bezier button. Click that and then just get the middle of it and drag it down to the corner until you get a nice curve. So uh, this is the same as doing slow keyframes on Sony Vegas. You want it to stay at the value for 100 for as long as possible and then it quickly goes up to 130. And then we will do the same, so highlight these two, F9 on your keyboard. Uh, and then go into graph editor, click the line, auto bezier, and then just want it to go up to 100 quickly. So we've got it going up in the values quickly, and then it flattens out in 100. Let's preview that. There we go, that's good. And then uh, for a zoom out, same logic applies. Changed 130 to 70, and then change this 70. 130 and, and then change this 70 to 130 so you go back into your graphs highlight them graph editor and uh, it will be different this time you want to click on the line auto bezier and you want to stay at 100 so we'll drag it top right so the longer line will always be on 100 so it stays at 100 then quickly goes down to 70 highlight the keyframes on the second one graph editor, click the line, auto bezier, and then uh, we want it to quickly come off 130, so longer line, always on 100, and then this should be your zoom out transition. So that's the most basic transition on After Effects that I could show you, uh, so if you're new around here, please subscribe and like if this helped you out, and I will see you next time.